Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Sarah Zuby, and for my vlog today, I'm going to be tracking my research pro um, my research process on um, my final project for um, women's literature, and my project is on intersectionality, and I am doing three definitions um, for intersectionality from three different mediums. And these mediums are, one, Kimberly Crenshaw's definition of intersectionality because Kimberly Lee Crenshaw coined the term of it. Um, two, Bluest Eye, um, the book by Toni Morrison um, through examples. And three, perspectives on the definition of intersectionality through interviewing MSU students. And a lot of my reason for um, outside... Um, research are like going to be for Kimberly Crenshaw's definition because for the bluest eye for the most part it's going to be within the text um, to describe the definition and MSU students my research is going to be um, simply interviewing them and I'm not going to need outside research for that and before going to the library for my research I had a few um, sources regarding intersectionality through Kimberly Crenshaw's definition, and a lot of the sources are interviews with Kimberly Crenshaw herself um, to get specifically her words um, from herself rather than just someone explaining like what her definition means and her explaining the definition of intersectionality. And um, Professor Travers, um, I came into office hours and she showed me how to find reliable resources through Wikipedia. And um, through Wikipedia, I actually found a source connected to the definition of intersectionality, not just like why we have it, but that definition of itself. And I found a source connected to Wikipedia, which was a journal covering um, the actual definition of intersectionality, and it's about 30 pages. Um, but this 30 page long journal has a lot of reliable sources within the text and it has like different professionals who have studied and um, researched more so on the topic of intersectionality and most importantly it has actual um, sources of Kimberly Crenshaw speaking about like her take on it which is the most important because obviously that's where I'm getting it from and it gives actually a solid definition rather than just talking about like why intersectionality is important and things like that it actually gives a definition and um just has a lot of good information and um after going to the meeting at the library I had found an online book about uh, Kimberly Crenshaw's definition um, through race, class, and sex, and it's pretty long, but it's a good source with a plethora of information, and the keywords that I, I used to um, find this was intersectionality, Crenshaw, um, race, class, and um, it took me a while to like find it, but after a while I found it, and um, I'm pretty excited to use it, and especially since it's an online book, I don't have to worry about having to check it out or anything. And then, um, using the same keywords I used to find the book, I tried to find an article, but I could only find, like, very specific articles, which only, like, covered certain aspects of intersectionality rather than a whole as a definition. It covered, like, things like intersectionality, feminism, and, like, <clears throat> intersectionality within, um, like, sex, tra sex trafficking and things like that, but I'm, for my project, I'm looking more so for, like, a valid definition, and, um, aside from the Kimberly Crenshaw definition, um, other resources I, um, will be using are most likely tied to the bluest eye and, um, some things rather than the text I will be using are, um, things such as reviews and, um, other articles correlating, um, intersectionality in the bluest eye. I've already found one and, um, a professor had given an analysis on the bluest eye according to intersectionality. And, um, for the interviews at Michigan State, 
I necessarily don't need outside sources being that the sources itself are the people I'm interviewing and I don't want to get outside sources because I'm trying to get the take of the individuals themselves. So.